hello youtube elikem Koda here and today i want to record a video because it's been a while since i recorded a video for my youtube channel and i'm starting off this video showing my new gpu miner actually with just two gpu with a straight long motherboard in the hp server power supply with the adapter just my desktop my router i actually put the internet inside and i should yeah and then today uh the purpose for this video is actually just to showcase what you need to build a cpu miner in ghana or in africa uh, what a cpu miner is actually is uh, it's just a computer that is mining cryptocurrency with a cpu most of uh, the miners like what i just showed from the beginning of the video was right there it's a gpu miner that is why i started with it and then we have uh, asic miners i used to mine with asics those are the asics over there those are the three asics over there you can see i have some other motherboards around to build cpu miners with, with the funds over there in the cables but those are three asics that i used to run and that is the silencer box with the acoustic foams over there yeah uh, the reason why I moved to CPU mining and then GPU mining is I've been mining with the A6 for some time now and then uh, the noise and the power consumption and those exits have I think they are a bit old so they consume a lot more power than they actually make profit so I switched to GPU mining and then I just started my GPU mining and I got uh, two gpus and then the motherboard with the power server the, the, the server the server power supply to try it to try it out and then i i realized i could also cpu mine just to use the cpu and that is uh, it will use less power and then it will be less silence those miners were actually very loud i have to build a silencer for it if you've watched my other video on the building a silencer box for my miner you see that they are very loud yeah and they mine only bitcoin but then this miner is actually going to mine uh, monero because monero can be you can be mined on the cpu uh, i would mine uh, also Firo also so then let me actually get into what uh, you need to build a cpu miner in ghana in africa or any part of the world because if you can build it in ghana then you can build it in any part of the world uh -huh. to mine and uh, i actually plan to hook this up to solar to demonstrate uh, that you can actually uh, mine cryptocurrency with free energy and because in ghana we have a lot of solar and i think i would leave that video for uh, i'll leave that topic for another video and discuss that but then i would build a cpu miner first and hook it up to uh, our normal ECG in Ghana, our normal power, uh, proper doom saw people, and hook it up to them. The reason why I'm going to use solar is because of the doom saw. Uh, they take off the power anytime they want and make it back anytime they want. But you want these things to be mining 24 7 year round. You want them to be mining unless you, you, you stop them to actually uh, clean it up. That is when maybe you might want to turn it off. So you want it to be running 24 7 with internet connected to you don't want it off the miner is actually a money printer like you're printing your own money yeah so i don't get it why the youth uh, don't actually mine in ghana uh, with solar it, it, it will be a bit expensive to start but uh, it's lucrative to start so let me go into the parts that you will need to build this miner First of all, uh, you will need the motherboard, and I have a motherboard over here that has uh, two CPU. I have a two CPU motherboard over here. It has eight RAM slots, and then uh, four PCIe slots for video cards, and then another M, the NVMe for the uh, SSD. I'm going to use this SSD. Because it doesn't it doesn't consume a lot of uh, power 
because when you use when you use the normal hard disk it will consume a lot of power and as you can see this motherboard comes with the audio sound and input and output the ethernet and then it comes with eight usb slots and the old keyboard and mouse lock but then it doesn't come with any vga so this is uh, just a normal video card that i have that i'll be putting into here and these are the cooling fans it's, it's a sahara cooling fan since it's a double cpu but i have two cpu cooling fans and this is an this is just an extra fan that i got in case i want to put it into a case but i don't think i'll be putting it into a case and this is the power supply that i will be using i might be using because i have another power supply that uh, i might use i would like to use this power supply because with with, with this i can just uh, plug this into this hp power supply over here and then i would put the motherboard on this table over here and i'll use the same power supply for both uh, gpu mining and cpu mining because it doesn't consume too much power like the a6 over there so that is it uh, i have two processors over here two intel two intel exon processors e5 processors i have two of them this is another one and i have two 8 gig ram for for eight, eight gig you can see the flash is well but that's eight gig ddr4 ram another eight gig ddr4 ram to fit into this motherboard yeah i have my thermal paste over here and my screwdrivers that i'll be using and then that is all yeah <laughs> If you like videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will drop a video after I fix up everything I have is running. I will drop another video and update video. So please, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and like this video. It means the world to me when you like this video and you drop a comment for me. I, I actually appreciate that. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Thank you so much.